is competing tonight at the Can-Am Track Classic. He's hoping to prove to Athletics Canada that he is Olympic material. Artis Zakarian joins us live. Artis, you were watching him train today. How is our athlete doing? He was very calm and collected today. He's been training at the Olympic level since October, so today was just a regular day for him. He is suffering from an injury that he is recovering from, and he is going to make it today, and Athletics Canada, he's going to prove it to them that nothing can stop him. He's easygoing and loves to joke around, but when it comes to training, he puts on a game face. And tonight, Jamie and Jesse Nelson is out to prove to Athletics Canada he's got what it takes. I'm ready for it. You know, this is what I what I do every day, so there's no pressure for me to perform for them, but I'd like them to see what I'm doing and uh, get that stress off my back so I can move forward. And he's hoping to move forward towards the Olympics in London 2012 as a decathlete. His hamstring and ankle injuries from last year are now healed, and he's ready to take on the competition. I felt that, you know, I could make a dent in the competition at the Olympics, so the goal to get there and even just have the, uh, the ability to call myself someone who's training for that is uh, it's just an amazing accomplishment, accomplishment for me. His coach believes he will make it to the Olympics and will finish in the top eight. He says that Jete Nelson's greatest strengths are his speed and his power. Being a decathlete means he has to train for 10 events, from long jump to pole vault to sprinting 1,500 meters. And that will be a challenge. Just the, the connection of all the events and how they connect was uh, difficult for me at first, and once I learned that, it, the, the flow of learning all the events and training for them became just a little bit more easier for me. Ajete Nelson is proud to be from Windsor, just like boxing world champion Mary Spencer, where Olympic dreams are becoming hopeful reality. Never think your community is that small where it can't happen here. You know, from Mary and myself, you know, we did it right here, so the talent is here, the coaching is here, and the support is here, so anything's possible if you, uh, really believe and people around you really believe. Susan, I just got word from Jamie's coach. He beat his personal goal for the 60 meter hurdles with 8.28 seconds. So congratulations to Jamie. And tomorrow he will be competing for the uh, long jump at 2 p.m. at the St. Denis Center. Okay, way to go, Arda. Way to go, Jamie.